has been around for over 40 years and it's a really good model. WGM is trying to tackle the root causes of the poverty rather than just trying to tackle the effects of it. This is the organisation of the moment. I would say WDM is relevant, informed and dynamic. Radical, inclusive and satisfying. Dynamic, creative, intelligent. Radical, clear-headed and fun. Educational, inspiring and motivational. Punchy, creative, committed. I've been with WDM now about three years. Uh, I first got involved when I returned from Chile. I was in fact over in South America for two years, up till 2008. And I was there at the time of the crash, um, when the markets crashed. I was just feeling this kind of anger at uh, what was going on. And I didn't really know what was going on, except I knew that um, there was a lot of poverty in the world and a lot of injustice. and. Um, I kind of wanted to do something. I was very frustrated and I came back uh, and I didn't know where to go to vent my frustration. I looked on Google and I found my local WDM group. I happened to read an article about WDM. Um, I went along to the uh, first group meeting and um, yeah, kind of it sort of snowballed from there really. So I went along to the meeting it was really interesting, the people were really nice. Uh, I thought, this is it, this is the avenue I want to pursue. Uh, climate justice, trade justice, this is what I'm about. We do street stores um, to publicise WDM's campaigns. Since I've been involved with WDM, um, we've done campaigns on um, the debt, third world debt, uh, trade justice, water privatisation, uh, climate change, uh, food speculation. We lobby um, policy makers. We go on marches. We sometimes organise public meetings. We do street theatre, which is my personal love and what I really like getting involved with. We make costumes. Mm. Um, sometimes we get certain props from WDM head office. And in addition to that, you can be as creative as we like. You can do a lot of dressing up and doing silly things if you've got a mind to, if you don't mind making a fool of yourself. I think being really visual helps. Yeah, because even if people don't know about the issue, they're just thinking, why are those people running around <laughs> dressed up? <laughs> it just, it really works. It gets people's attention. One of the most memorable actions that I took part in was in 2009, where the WDM was campaigning against the construction of a new coal-fired power station at Kings North in Kent. To publicise this, we had a tug of war on the street between dirty coal power and big business on one side and renewable sources of energy on the other, like the sun, the wind and the sea. We had great props, fantastic energy, lots of people join in. And we got people to sign a petition saying they supported uh, uh, renewable energy. We got into the local paper and I felt like it was uh, a very uh, successful action. And it was fantastic because uh, King's North, as people might know, was ditched in the end. So yeah, we felt we contributed to that. The 
I think for me what makes WDM valid is the fact that they respond to requests from campaigning organisations in poor countries who will say to WDM, please, nobody's listening to us because we're poor, we haven't got any effect, we can't campaign your government or your corporations to stop whatever it is they're doing. Uh, please can you do it for us and WDM will take that up and start a big campaign. One of the best things that uh, I found with WDM is that we've had activists from other countries speaking at our meetings and coming over to the UK. I feel very privileged to have met people from poorer countries who've given you first-hand stories. There is a real feeling of solidarity with those people. Um, we are, we're, we're helping them, but they're actually helping us to understand the problems as well. And I think that kind of really challenges as well the sort of passive representation of people in the global south and the media, mm. as these people are just sort of have these policies imposed on them and they don't resist. It's really important to sort of hear how people resist. The best thing about being with WDM really is, is the people. You get to meet so many lovely people, so many committed activists. We've got Climate Camp, um, Greenpeace, uh, who else is there? UK, UK and Cut. UK and Cut. There's lots and lots of different things to get involved with and it's, it's always a nice group of people. In fact, we're still outside the pub now and this is where we meet and it's always good to finish your meeting with a pint, you know? I really um, like the organisation for the fact that it, uh, it campaigns on the underlying structures. It's not a coincidence or an act of God that people are poor. It's because of deliberate policies um, enacted by the powerful on behalf of the powerful. And I don't like that sort of thing, so I campaign against it. If you've watched this video and you're thinking about joining WDM, just don't hesitate. If you're thinking about getting involved, I'd say just come along to one of your local group meetings. Um, you'll meet a lot of interesting people, um, you'll find out about a lot of interesting campaigns and you just get sucked in, it's hard to say no. I would really like to encourage people who maybe don't know much about the issues, who've stumbled across this video by accident, um, say, you know, don't be afraid to go along to a meeting because you don't know anything. Um, I didn't know anything. Come along, get involved, and let's work together and have a good time as well. The people in the groups are so friendly and so welcoming, and all you have to do is say, look, I don't know anything, just, you know, and just go along and, you know, just find out more. Get involved because um, there's a lot of injustice in the world and to do something about it is much more satisfying than just sitting at home and fretting and moaning about it and you get to meet some awesome people.